Good morning, everyone. We begin this morning with politics and head to Florida, where President Trump signed a bill containing $900 billion in pandemic relief, backing down from demands that lawmakers change the bill before he signed it. Bloomberg's Mario Parker joins me now by phone from West Palm Beach, Florida. Hey, Mario, it's so great to have you on the show this morning. Uh, what do you think it is that pressured the president to sign this version of the bill um, at the last minute? Thanks for having me, Tim. Uh, well, it's unclear what pressured the president to um, uh, essentially give in, but it's important to remember that this was a this was chaos and crisis of his own making. He essentially undermined uh, some of his uh, top advisors, uh, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, for example, who negotiated on behalf of the White House and then touted the bill last week, only for President Trump to hours later uh, criticize it. But there was what's also notable is that uh, there were there was a bipartisan uh, calls for the president to sign this bill. Mario, you've been with the president in, in, in Florida for the past few days. What did he do? Well, the, the, the last few days, uh, the president uh, golfed. Uh, okay. at his uh, golf club here uh, in, in Florida. Uh, the White House has otherwise uh, been uh, quite mum on his other activities, just kind of broadly saying that he's working on behalf of the American people. He's held many phone calls. I think he even referenced that in a tweet as well. But what we do know is that he did spend time golfing here, uh, at least prior to uh, signing that bill that he signed last night. He, he spent time golfing. I think that's a, it's just important for us to keep in mind here that the president delaying the signing of the bill actually meant that millions of people lost out on a, a, a week of benefits. What were the consequences, Mario, of him waiting to sign it? Yeah, quite quite a few things. As you mentioned, uh, the most notable is the fact that uh, at a time when a lot of American families are hurting and could use some extra money, that they'll uh, lose out on a, a crucial $300 in some cases or uh, in some cases uh, a lapse in a, in a week of uh, extended unemployment benefits. Uh, and that's just a tangible impact. Uh, politically, uh, he's essentially uh, you know, kind of frayed the Republican Party because it caused some infighting within the party, particularly over his calls to uh, give Americans $2,000. That's something that Republicans have uh, have had a, a generally had a stomach for, and so it's it's causing a, a split uh, within that party. Is there any reason, based on your reporting, Mario, that the president actually delayed his signature here? What was it all about? Well, if we read the tea leaves, particularly in the statement that he, the signing statement that accompanies the bill, uh, the president, uh, in addition to calling for more money, the two thousand uh, dollars. Uh, some of it was also sprinkled with some of the grievances that we've seen since the election. Uh, his uh, insistence that uh, Section 230 protections for social media companies uh, be revoked or curbed in some way. Uh, social media companies, of course, have drawn his ire, uh, particularly uh, with labeling some of his tweets uh, false or uh, uh, pending some of those tweets about his election uh, defeat. And then also uh, just uh, his insistence that there was his insistence, but unsubstantiated, uh, that there was widespread fraud in the election. He also spoke about that or referenced that in the signing statement as well. So some of it was, uh, you know, it was the two thousand dollars that he, he harped on, but also some of the grievances that we've heard him uh, speak about over the last uh, month or so. OK, the House set to, to vote today on the president's demand for two thousand dollars stimulus checks, Mario. Um, what is the outcome here? What, what happens for Republicans and what happens for Democrats? Well, and, and, and as we mentioned, Tim, that's something that's, uh, that, that the president's put uh, his party in a very, very tricky spot with this. Because now, with the House holding this vote, they'll spotlight those members of his party that uh, don't want to uh, you know, increase the payments for Americans, uh, again, at a, a particularly tenuous time economically. Um, and then also, of course, the other implication is that we've got this large Senate, the Senate race uh, looming in Georgia, which could essentially uh, uh, define uh, who's going to govern uh Govern between the Democrats and the Republicans, whether or not Joe Biden will have a, a majority. And, and it puts uh, Kelly Loeffler and then David Perdue in a tough position as well.
Yeah, I'm so glad you, you mentioned Georgia here. So explain why it puts the these two candidates, uh, the Republican incumbents, in such a tough position. Yeah, well, A, as, many, uh, as, as we mentioned, uh, they initially came out last week and praised the the bill that Trump ended up uh, essentially criticizing. So that put them in a bad position. And then B, again, just um, just given given where we are economically, uh, the the consequences of them voting or them not agreeing or supporting two thousand dollar payments going to Americans where John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock, the Democrats that are running against them in that Georgia Senate race, are supporting those measures, it could be a wedge issue. Uh, very quickly, Mario, I know you're in Florida with the president. It's the, the Monday after the holiday. Um, what have you learned about the president's schedule today? What's your plan for today? Well, right now we're currently, uh, the pool is currently uh, outside of Mar-a-Lago, uh, the president's estate, uh, waiting uh, for some type of movement. We're not clear uh, as to what the president's schedule is going to be today. And so it's kind of up in the air from, from here. The, the White House, again, hasn't uh, released the, the, the typical detailed guidance that it has, only uh, issuing a, a broad statement about the president's activities today. All right. Well, there you have it. Mario Parker in Florida with the president. Mario, thanks as always for your time. We certainly appreciate it.